Hi, this is Julie with Beetaholic, and today I want to show you how to use a disc cutter to create perfect circles out of sheet metal every time. We offer a couple different sizes at Beetaholic. I just wanted to show you. Here's a large one and a small one, and I left the large one in its original packaging just to let you see that it does come oil quenched. And then once you pull it out, you're going to probably want to have a paper towel handy just for your fingers and to make it a little bit easier to work with. I'm going to put the large one aside and focus on the smaller one right now. You can see this one features seven different size circles ranging from a quarter of an inch all the way up to five eighths of an inch. These little cutters come right out and you can see you just easily remove them. Now there's a flat side and this is going to be the side that goes down is actually going to do the cutting and the one with the beveled edge is going to be the one up top. So if you're going to cut what you're going to want to do is remove all the ones that you're not going to be using. You just easily take them out. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the 5 8 one. So I'm going to want to use that one. And I've pulled also some cutting lube and this is going to help to make a nice clean cut that also makes it a little bit easier to remove. So with this product you just push it up from the bottom and it's a thick balm. It's like a waxy balm. It's not liquidy. Just going to put some on the edge. It doesn't take too much. Then what I'm going to do is you're going to slide your sheet metal right into this little slot right here. And if you're doing something with a pattern, you can actually look through the hole to see where the pattern is. We're going to put our cutter into the hole. And I've got a one pound brass mallet and I'm going to do one clean, strong strike and push this cutter all the way through. So then you can see, if I pull this open, we have our perfect little circle now at the base. And this has gone all the way through. And then you're just going to, you might, if it has some oil on it, you might want to use a paper towel to help remove this. Now if you're having a hard time retrieving the cutter after you've hammered it, what I find works well is to carefully give it another tap, let it come through the bottom, and sometimes it's a lot easier to remove that way. So you can see our sheet here. We've got perfect holes which have been cut and it's very easy to do. Then for storage, I would just go ahead, put your pieces back in place, and then they'll be all ready for you the next time you want to use it.